Okay, ready. You are long overdue a renovation update, so we are gonna chat all things renovation today. However, let's kick this video off with some things I've been loving. Quick fire. Do I have it in me to be quick about anything? <laughs> The new makeup by Mario foundation. I've actually only used this once so far, but the one time that I did use it, I was like, wow, is, is this for real? Yes, yes it is. I'm actually really liking this brush. Again, it's makeup by Mario and it's their EF2 brush. I made an order of the foundation and I picked this up as well. It's just a great like all over blend, one and done brush. And it's just so nice and soft. Merit is now available in the UK, hooray. And I'm really into their mascara. It's very Glossier lash slit really natural, really nice and easy to remove at the end of the day, but just gives a really nice kind of everyday lash look. Like, ooh, fluttery. For lips, I'm being super boring and just putting on some balm with a bit of my Makeup Forever lip liner. She's a lip liner girl now. Oh, and I literally just bought this, so I can't really say if it's a fave or not because I'm about to use it for the first time now. Okay, the spray on that is heavy. It leaves you soaking wet. <laughs> I have to report back on that one. But actually, my skin does look kind of glowy. Thank you to the comments from my last video who was like, Anna, get the Charlotte Tilbury spray. It's really, really nice. <laughs> I did, I listened. <laughs> oh, I'm loving this, by the way. Manicurist Hortensia. Like, literally, this is just what I put on my nails every single week. On a Sunday, I'm like, right, it's nail day. And you know what? Last Sunday, I didn't even really need to do them. I probably could have got another, like, four or five days out of them. But it's just such a good pinky, milky, doesn't take ages to get off manicurist i love you oh another thing do you like my new ring it's this one here it's from majuri and it's their diamonds line ring speaking of which thank you so much to majuri for sponsoring this video there's big news actually because they're running their first ever diamonds week where there is 15% off all of their diamonds. 15% off anything diamondy. Valentine's Day is coming up. They've never done this before. This is a first and it runs until the 7th of February. So you've got two days after this video goes live to do what you need to do. But I thought I'd share with you some of my favorite diamond pieces. And I'm just so in love with this ring. I'm gonna do a close up again. It's so dainty and delicate and just like everything I love in a ring. But obviously there's that bit of sparkle there. Like, yes. Also, this ring above is Majuri. They no longer do this gem in it, but they do a ring that's really similar with a diamond in the middle. I think it's called like the solo diamond ring. There's some great diamond pieces. I feel like sometimes you say diamond and it, it sounds really like blingy and big and Majuri just, you know Majuri are about like delicate, beautiful, everyday pieces, subtle, chic, Everything I love in jewellery, like put me head to toe Majuri. I mean, I literally wear a Majuri anklet every day now. <laughs> you see me wearing it all the time. You know I love it. Speaking of that solo diamond ring, they actually have a solo diamond necklace and bracelet as well. Let me show you those. Right, zoom you in. I've added the bracelet to my everyday lineup. Like, ooh. I'll link all the other Majuri pieces in the description box below, but this is the solo diamond bracelet. It has an adjustable length, which is great. We love to see it. It has three different lengths on it. I've got it on the shortest one here. It's nicer to have one a little bit tighter to my wrist because now I'm wearing three so it doesn't get tangled up because this one's a little bit tighter than all the others. But it's so simple, so delicate. And then there's the matching necklace. I mean, look, look at her. Just so dainty, so cute. Here's the diamond next to my fingernail as well for reference. It's very dainty, not super in your face. And currently 15% off. So all those pieces that I've shown you are 15% off and will be linked in the description box down below for you. But 15% is a huge discount for Majuri. Like I mentioned, never been done before and just some really beautiful pieces that will like elevate your everyday look with a little bit of shine, a little bit of sparkle. So thank you to Majuri for sponsoring this video. You know I'm a fan. Now let's go talk renovation. What's the update then? So I thought maybe you could just follow me around and I'll talk about it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take you around. I'm gonna start up here and we're gonna like walk around and I'll talk you through it. But this bit here is gonna be our utility. So like here to here will be our new utility room with like covers down one side and then a little walkway in the middle and then like our washer and dryer on the other side. And this is the door to that, so I'm going to be like, can I stand on No. Oh. <laughs> I wouldn't just yet. <laughs> the door to that is going to be in there. And then on both sides, it's having windows? Just on the right side. Oh, so this is like wood panelling? Yeah. Cladding. This be wood cladding. Wood cladding, yeah. And then on this side, this is going to be window from where it is now. Yeah. So from here to here window and then the rest of this is going to be our kitchen dining room like everything in one space and this is going to be a window here mm -hmm. and then this is going to be obviously they've got to like build the floor 
part. Oh, and they put a little piece of... Yeah, so that's kind of where the floor level is, yeah. Cool. So that's going to be like where the floor level is. And then it's going to be sliding doors. And then like on to a patio. Obviously there won't be a step down. Um, but yeah, this will be the patio. And this is going to be floor to ceiling glass. Just like pure glass sliding doors. Ooh. And then this is window. Yeah. And then this is all window too. So from here all the way to the top is going to be, this isn't going to be a floor to ceiling window, but it's going to be like a oh, kind of seat yeah, yeah. height to the roof. Yeah. Yeah. And then the corner where it joins here is this like, what's it called? Like a glazed corner. A glazed corner. corner, yeah, yeah. So this is going to be a glazed corner. So the idea is that there's no like beam in the corner. There's no like steel in the corner. It's just like a join of glass and you'll be able, it'll be like you're in a little box. This is making me so excited by the way. This is worth like every boiler fault. Like yeah. this is so exciting. Yeah. And then I can't really take you down here, but this bit is, there's going to be, what bit is panelled? What bit is cladded? So where this beam is here, this beam here, yeah. that's basically going to have, it's going to have cladding around it. It's probably going to be from the edge of that block work there yeah. to just to the other side of the beam, uh, the column, sorry. That's probably where the, that's probably roughly where so the cladding is going to be. be. Clad in there, section of cladding. And then also at that far end where that where it meets uh, uh, the party party wall, there's going to be more wood cladding going up there as well. So basically, any around any steel work, there'll be like cladding, so yeah. that because you can't, you know, it's obviously like you want to hide it behind something, so that's going to be cladded. But then that little gap there that you saw, it's not a little gap, but that gap yeah. there that you see is going to be again like a floor to ceiling sliding door yep. moment. And then that'll come out onto a patio area, a sort of a landing on the patio, which goes steps down yeah. onto the garden. Should we go in? Yeah, do you want to go in this way? Come in. <laughs> what way does it open from? I can't remember what we decided. It only opens in one direction. Oh yeah. Right, yeah, so like one direction. I feel like when you stand in it, that's when I like really remember it was our kitchen because obviously like the flooring is still here. The wallpaper is still here. The flooring of the utility, you might remember this. This was our old utility. So yeah, it's kind of crazy to like see it like this and then all the space that you're standing in is like new space that we've added, which is really cool. Let me show you the utility from the inside. Don't worry, we still have the original door to put the original door back in. We think we're just gonna get it replaced with maybe some like reeded glass or something, like updated a little bit. But we've still got that door, that's not, that's so, not the final door, that's a security measure. But basically from here to kind of where, it's about here, isn't it? Yeah. This is going to be utility space. This is going to become a walkway, so hopefully we'll have a nice piece of furniture kind of here and some plants, and that'll be like a little entryway. And then once the utility ends, this is our kitchen and you've seen the photos already from that like the mock-ups that we've got for the kitchen will be all the way down this back side here with an island like there island will be here this will be the little reading nook so they're going to be like a bench seat kind of going around the wall there yeah hopefully with a little bit of storage and maybe underneath oh god yeah and then oh, where are you going now i'm going this way yeah so this will have a like bench kind of seating up against the wall and then our dining table will be here. It's just so, it's got me really, really excited. It's great, isn't it? Yeah, this is, I'm buzzing. Buzzing, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Should we go back into the warm now? Yeah. <laughs> I've made notes. Okay, on, on notion. <clears throat> so they're on notion, of course. They would have just seen a site, um, like a little site visit. Oh, you've seen it, okay, you've just seen that, okay. So that is what it. it's currently looking like out there, which I feel kind of shows like the good. Like what is the good? Progress. Yeah, there is progress. Mm, progress, it's good, yeah. Things, it's like you can kind of go like a couple of weeks and be like, like I know what's going on, but I'm like, you don't see stuff and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, I think got, we've got walls, there's walls there. Exactly, the fact that you can see it feels like you can see the space so much more now. Like yeah. there's the walls, there's obviously like the floor needs like leveling out and then you can obviously see the height of it, but you can just like see where the openings are going to be. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. really cool. I feel like you can visualize the space so much when they, more. When they put the steel in, we were like, oh, you can see where the edge is. 
Yeah, to and see then the when corner. They, and then like, when oh. they put the block work in for the for the kind of the edge of it, yeah. then you're like, oh, yeah. then I can see the opening size. And yeah. then yeah, I think it'll be huge when we when they start doing the floor as well. Yeah. It sounds really obvious to say, yeah. but when you're on when you're actually looking at it, you're like, oh yeah, like that'll be massive, that'd be amazing. Yeah, that was gonna be cool. And then the bad. I've written boiler shenanigans. Oh yeah, boiler. The boiler been, shenanigans the boiler's have been not been very fun. So the boiler shenanigans, partly issues with our boiler. Oh yeah, I don't know There's something going on with our old. It's, our, it's a really old boiler. We so, just we just need to like keep it working until the end of the project. Yeah, exactly. Which is a few months. So. Yeah, so it's kind of like issues with our boiler, issues with like maybe where the boiler has been and all. So it's yeah. like the building side of things. So it's kind of been like 50-50 on that one. But have we, I feel like the boiler has broken maybe four times. Is it three? Three, feels, and, feels three more, and then last night, um, a switch had like accidentally been switched off and there was no power to our boiler. And actually it was just like <laughs> a guy like, needed to come oh, no. around and like press a switch. But we were like, no, not again. Like not again. Yeah. Oh, well. And I think one time we didn't have heating for like four days. We've been really lucky that it's been when it hasn't been super, super, super cold. I mean, it was last time quite cold, wasn't it? Yeah, 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 the last, the last time was pretty chilly. I was only for a day or genuinely two. like bought the same fleece as Mark's got. It's not this one, it's a different fleece by, who's it, Grammy? I think you say, I think it's, I think you say Grammisi, I think. Yeah, it's amazing, Grimici. it's like wearing a hot water bottle, it's yeah. so, so good. So now I had that when it went off last night, I wasn't panicking, because I was like, I'm, I'm warm. yeah, I'm fine, I'm good, and we've got, enough like Dyson bands and bits and bobs so that like, like yeah like Ralph's room is always like warm enough and that kind of stuff but that is just like not not a particularly fun thing for anyone if your heating is like broken in the winter no We're, we've been lucky that it hasn't affected our hot water because I feel like that not having hot water and not yeah. having heating would have been like particularly not fun but we've been lucky that we've had hot water because we have a hot water tank so I feel like that's been kind of the major bad we're behind schedule, but we have watched enough grand designs. Oh yeah, to know that's fine. To know this is like very, very it's normal. normal. It's very normal. Yeah, yeah. And also- The guys um, have had a really rough, they had a really rough run of weather just before Christmas and just yeah. after Christmas. Like it just yeah. rained and rained and rained. It basically turned our like garden into a mud pit and it just, just like really tricky to mm. get like stills and stuff up when it's like raining, pouring, windy, like mm. really hardcore weather conditions. So I think that has like pushed things back. But not majorly, not like, oh my gosh, months and months and months, like a month. Yeah, a I month. think probably about a month, yeah. And we're in a, we're really lucky that we've got such a comfortable, like temporary kitchen set up that as much as I'm so excited to like have a really nice kitchen to like cook and bake in again, I'm like, we can make this work. Yeah, yeah. definitely. What's the next thing? I wrote, what's next on our to-do list? So kind of things that are currently in Oh, progress. in progress. So I've been speaking to a curtain person. Yeah, a curtain person. Um, someone, Rebecca, someone Rebecca Whitefield recommended to us. Yeah. Um, so chatting with her about... Curtains. Chatting to, <laughs> chatting to her about curtains, yeah. Um, so we're just waiting for her to come back to us on yeah. price and stuff. So we're going to have a, a track that's like in the ceiling. Yeah. So that's quite cool. The guys are quite close to like doing ceiling things. Yes, so we were like, yeah, all yeah. whilst we're kind of in that process, we need to work out like what sort of tracks we're going to have and where they're going to go so that that's like ready to be put in later yes. on. Yes, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. so um, we've picked the curtains already. Mm -hmm. Oh, do you want to show it? Are they easy to get to? Yeah, should I go Oh, yeah, it? go grab them. Spoiler. Yeah. It's, Spoiler. It's neutral. <laughs> <laughs> of course, they wouldn't expect anything less. Oh, they're from Rye. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, they're semi local. Yeah, sort of. Yeah, so. Merchant and Mills, and we had a few different samples. Those are the different samples that we got, right? Look at those. But we're actually gonna go for milk, which, yeah, like we said, spoiler, it's very neutral. <laughs> but then the lady did say, she was like, oh yeah, that's a Rebecca Wakefield favorite. And I was like, oh, yeah. is it? Okay, yeah, that's it cool, is, yeah, that's yeah. good. The other ones we just thought were a bit too, they're very nice, I really like them. I think they just been might be a bit, because they're, they're quite, Gonna be quite a lot of curtain. Yeah, and I think the other textures and the other colours are probably better off for things like the pillow that we're gonna have on the bench. Yeah, like that's the true. Corner. So like yeah. there'll probably be fabrics that we use in a different way, just like not as curtains. No. What else? What else is like in progress? Uh planting for the garden. Big moves have been made in the garden in terms of like we're kind of committed to doing it this summer. Yeah. We've committed. We're yeah. like it's, we're gonna be, we're just gonna have this like amazing extension. We're so, so happy with it. 
and we don't really fancy it being just like mud no, around no, the no. extension. So obviously that means like adding to the budget and the funds but hopefully having a patio like directly around where the extension is and then doing our garden this year which I'm just so excited for because I, I think started looking at um, Alex so that so we're using the company called Fern and Pine yeah who've done the design and I was just looking at Alex like um, 3D like renders of the garden oh, oh it made me so excited because they yeah. look so good maybe you could put a few on the screen now yeah, I can do that. Yeah, put a few on the screen now so you can get like an idea of what it's going to look like. But I just think last summer we... We spent a lot of time in the garden. We had summer. a summer... Oh yeah, we had had a summer with a garden in the previous summer. So we had had a summer, but I think it was a bit of a lockdowny summer. And I was super pregnant <clears> and unable to basically like manoeuvre. So it was so nice to have a summer. We've had two summers, 2021 yeah. and 2022. Yeah, that's what I mean. It was so nice to have last summer like with Ralph, like oh, outside yeah. and we just... We went out in our garden like every single day. Oh, was all, yeah, literally was taking him out all the he, time. He like loved it out there and now he can like obviously like walk and I don't know, I just, I'm so excited mm. for like a summer in the garden and a summer in like our dream garden basically is going to be really, oh, really yeah. cool. So Mark's been making big moves with that in terms of like trying to schedule people in and like mm. work that out and work out the planting. Um, and that's really, really exciting. So hopefully we've got a little sneak preview there. Yeah, I'll put some of the plans up for that mm -hmm. on there that'd be good i think that's it like the builder's kind of covered and everything really so well that was my next um we're getting, talking the, do point. We're getting the toilet done oh yes under the stairs the under stairs toilet is something that again we've committed to doing we were going to get the builders to put in the pipe work and we were like oh we'll just do it at a later date and then we were like you know what whilst they're here and whilst we're having the upheaval of building let's just like do it mm. get it done i guess it'll be handy for potty training one day also it's just such a lovely luxury to have a downstairs toilet it's mm. not something that we currently have um so if anyone has any understairs toilet advice i feel like in a kind of victorian house like in this kind of house um it's quite a common renovation to put yeah, yeah. to put a toilet under your stairs. So if you two have done that and you have any like do's and don'ts, I'd be very mm. interested to yeah. hear. Um, but that was my next talking point. Just like, what's, what's next? What's next? What's next? What's next? In terms of like schedule for the builders? Yeah, probably the build, yeah, probably the builders. They're finishing off a couple of steels this week. Mm -hmm. Next week, they'll have the glazing company come in to measure openings. Oh really? Oh, that's so that'll next be measuring week. Okay, like that's end cool. of the next week, I think it'll be ready for that. So that's yeah. exciting. So then that's that'll cool. get the glazing ready for yeah. the manufactured. These windows are on a I think it's about six weeks. Yeah, like a six week schedule. So it'll be from measuring to actually then being delivered it'll be like six weeks. A bit longer, maybe. Probably a bit, a bit longer, longer, but yeah, probably more like eight weeks. But yeah. So that's that. And then it'll be the floor will be they'll be starting the floor. Once those steels are in, they can then start taking the floor out. Yeah. And start getting the getting the base in for the floor and getting all that sorted and then all the services will be in there as well. So all the waste pipes and that. So they'll be doing the waste pipe into the toilet as well. That's cool. So there might be a bit of a people in that floor, in that, but that's not, that's, that's not too bad. It's exciting. Yeah, it is, yeah. We, we the roof, add... Yeah, the roof as well. They're doing the roof at the moment, so that'll be, that'll be good. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah, it feels like every now and again, I think when you do a big build, there feels like two, three weeks where you're a bit like, obviously there is progress happening, but it might not be very like visual progress that you mm. can see. And then every now and again, there's like a big push in like a week or two weeks where you're like, oh, okay, the rules, yeah. like yeah. the stills are all in. It's, it's really, really exciting. We actually just got a text from our builder um, showing us photos of the guy he's going to use to do our polished concrete floor. Oh yeah. Um, and he just showed um, Mark some like photos from another project and we were like, oh, this is so cool. So yeah, we're going to have a polished concrete floor. I don't know if I mentioned that, we have a polished concrete floor. Um, so yeah, it just feels like... We're ticking, ticking things off. Yep. We're like getting there with it and hopefully you enjoyed this little update. So when, where, how often do you think you can do these? I don't know, just when there's like something to say. Yeah, okay. Yeah, maybe like another month or two. To be fair, probably like I another- I think within the next month, there'll be a lot of change. You'll have like, we'll have a floor probably. The yeah. roof will be on and uh, I would have thought hopefully in the next month. That's cool. I reckon like maybe a month, two months and then, and then from that point, there'll be like another month or two and they'll be finished. 
But no, it's, it's <clears> very <throat> exciting. Our builders are doing a cracking job and we're just very, I feel like we're very lucky with them. Yeah, they're great you know? guys. They're yeah. like great guys and yeah, we're really happy with everything so far. Despite like a few hiccups, I think we haven't had anything touch with. I mean, you wouldn't have major. Any, anything without, yeah. there's always bits of like hiccups and stuff. Exactly. And it's just how you like deal with it, right? I think we've been able to laugh most times. Mm -hmm. Last night we were a bit like, ha ha, and then you were like, oh, we just gotta laugh, ha ha. And then the guy just came and flipped the switch and we were like, oh, oh ha, yeah, ha. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much to Majuri for sponsoring this video. Like, look, do you like my new? I did see that, is that new? Ooh, yeah. nice. It's nice, isn't it? Very dainty. See you soon, bye. bye. <laughs>